The purpose of this experiment is to determine whether or not the color of different containers affects the amount of heat that is absorbed. We also added another variable into this experiment, which is whether or not the type of light, artificial or natural, affects which color absorbs the most light. In both experiments, we determined that the black container will have the greatest increase in temperature because it will absorb the most heat from both light sources during the 60 minute period. The materials include an 80 milliliter measuring cup, a bottle of water that has been left out so it's room temperature in 10 containers, 9 colored and one that is clear for the control. Each container is filled with 80 milliliters of water, covered and then flipped over. This way the color of the lid does not affect the results of the experiment. The colors include orange, green, black, purple, magenta, blue, yellow, pink, and white. We use a control to make sure that the colors are actually having an effect. We want to make sure that some colors are allowing more light in to heat the water and others are reflecting the light. Group 1 includes the control, orange, green, and purple. We insert the thermometer into a hole on the top, which is then covered by duct tape, so no heat escapes throughout the experiment. A base reading of the temp is taken right before the light is added. The temperatures are recorded in our notebooks. The construction light is put in front of the containers about one foot away, and the timer is set to 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the temperature is taken and recorded. This is repeated five more times every 10 minutes for group one. The colors of group two include black, magenta, and blue, along with the control. The process of taking the temperature every 10 minutes is repeated six times for this group, and then the temperatures are recorded. Group three is the control, yellow, pink, and white. The procedure is repeated for the third time. The temperatures are plotted and it becomes clear that the water in the blue container increased the most in temperature with purple and green close behind. For the sunlight experiment, the containers are lined up in the garage. The starting temperatures are taken in here so that the sunlight doesn't affect the temperature yet. All the temperatures are recorded and then the containers are moved outside into the sunlight all at once. The timer is set to 10 minutes and it is started. After 10 minutes, the temperatures are taken and recorded again. This process needs to be done fairly quickly. This is where a digital thermometer comes in handy. This process is repeated five more times for a total of six. The data from the sunlight experiment is plotted and graphed and you can see that all of the container temperatures were extremely close. It's hard to say that one color is a clear winner because they are all so close, but white's temperature is the highest and yellow is right behind it. This is a chart calculating the energy that was absorbed in each container. The calculation is 80 milliliters times the specific heat of water which is 4.186 times the change in temperature. For the construction light blue, purple, and green absorb the most heat. 
energy at 9600 joules, 8700 joules, and 1500 joules. In the sunlight experiment, it was white and yellow at 6500 joules and 6400 joules. Because there are so many components on the two line graphs, we decided to leave the best fit lines off of the graphs so that the lines didn't get confusing. The equation for each container in each experiment was calculated so and is shown in the chart. For the construction light, the best fit line is linear and for the sunlight, it is logarithmic. More energy was absorbed in the construction light experiment, but that is just because the light has a stronger light source than the sun. When it comes to whether or not the color has an effect, it seems like it does depending on the type of light. When using an artificial light, the color has a big effect. Blue absorbed a lot more energy from the light than orange did. When using natural light, the color of the container has had little effect as to how much energy was absorbed.